I am Wendy Green. I'm with the Castle Department in the College of Education and Human Services. And I participated in the um, Textbook Affordability Symposium over the summer. I just want to share a few thoughts on my experience. A quick Google search highlights the, the increasing costs of um, textbooks for students at university. Uh, this slide provides a couple of um, numbers for us to consider. The average cost uh, is listed at just over $1,400 at public two-year colleges and $1,220 at private four-year colleges. Um, some of the points that stood out for me were that 25% of students indicated they worked extra hours to pay for their books and materials and 11% skipped meals in order to afford books and course materials. Additionally, we see that 19% of the students indicated the cost of materials and books directly influenced their decision on what classes to take. I want to show a couple of sample texts that I use in my courses. Um, and, and how this was first brought to my attention was a couple of years ago, I had a student um, mention to me that my program evaluation textbook was pretty expensive. And we see that it costs $159 if you want to buy it and $70 to rent it. What got to me was that this textbook was nine, nine and a half years old at the time. And I was planning on um, moving on to a different text moving forward and I just hadn't um, phased this one out at that point in time so students were paying $159 for a text that was almost two years old 10 years old sorry um, you see the cost of uh, one of our handbooks is $139 and one of our other core texts is $60 uh, a couple of years ago, maybe maybe more than that, two to three years ago, Vern Morrison, who was in charge of um, textbook licensing at the time, and he's since retired, and we congratulate him. However, it's a loss uh, for those of us who were used to working with Vern. Um, he had informed me that there were some uh, licensed there were there were some textbooks that were licensed through the library, and he could link them to my courses if I wanted to. And I wasn't aware that this was possible. Of course, I said, yes, if you can link these texts to my courses, that would be much appreciated. So every subsequent semester, I check with, checked with Vern to see if there were um, textbooks available for my students. And sometimes there were, and sometimes they weren't. Uh, last year, I decided, um, since we had three of our core textbooks come out with new editions, I decided I was going to ask um, and see if we could get license, get these textbooks licensed. And it didn't take a lot of effort. It did take some conversation across uh, spaces and with different people, but we were able to get licenses for these um, new textbooks. And I consider that a big win because we'll be able to use these, these texts at least for the next five years. And we use them across courses, uh, both master's and doctoral programs. This uh, sparked my interest in thinking about textbook affordability, and that's why I decided to do the symposium. And uh, some of the benefits were uh, developing a better understanding of what open source materials are, um, and also understanding the different kinds of copyrights that are out there. It connected me to library staff who could assist um, me and others in our search for open resources, and they provided a number of resources and websites. Um, that we could go to 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 investigate um, what open source material there there is um, and although i wasn't fully successful in locating open source material that would substitute for text it did sort of spark an idea that maybe i could create some materials and share them across spaces uh, my last thought is that the cost of higher education is rising and textbooks are one of many factors, but if we can, I think more structurally, but also what's in our wheelhouse um, and try to manage the cost of textbooks, but also think about how we can, um, how we can uh, do more as well.